Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really, really well. So today I have an exciting video. I am going to be talking about one of my favorite topics. We are going to be discussing the most addictive fragrances for men. Now, I feel like this video is perfect for right now, since we are going to be coming into the cooler weather very soon. So you guys can start pulling out your more intense, more dark, more sexy, more sweet fragrances. And I have an amazing lineup of my favorite addictive fragrances for men. So let's get into it. The first fragrance on the list is from Maison Francis Kirkshon, and this scent is Grand Soir. Now, for me personally, this is one of the best amber fragrances ever created. I love it so much, especially, especially on a man. Grand Soir on a really classy man just smells so 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 addictive on the skin now what you're going to get with grand soir is a very deep very warm very cocooning amber fragrance you have vanilla benzoin labdanum it's very smooth it's very well blended and it's just so addictive like that is the word to describe grand soir now in terms of longevity and projection this fragrance is fantastic you're going to get around eight hours of really good wear with a minimal projection. Grand Soir is going to project within your arm's length. It's definitely not like Baccarat Rouge, for instance, but it is going to project. So people are going to be able to smell you. And I just love this one. Whenever I smell this on a man, I just want to cozy up to this person. It just smells fantastic. Like I said, I would recommend this for the fall and winter, but I would also recommend Grand Soir for formal events date night and maybe a night out depending on where you're going i think it would work perfectly so mfk grand soir 10 out of 10 amber fragrance one of my personal favorites and i really recommend that you guys wear this one during the fall and winter next up i have one of my favorite tobacco vanilla combinations now for the first time ever i am not putting herod in this list because you guys already know me, we already know each other, and you know how much I love Herod and I talk about it. I've been speaking about it for so many years, so I wanna to start to recommend you guys a few other fragrances other than Herod. So, Vanille Havan from Les Indimidables is definitely my favorite vanilla tobacco scent besides Herod. This fragrance, you guys, is spectacular like for me this fragrance is a masterpiece scent what you have with vanille havan is this very high quality vanilla fragrance with some tobacco with a cacao note so there is something slightly chocolatey about the scent and there is also a dried fruity note maybe even a boozy note in here i forgot what the note breakdown is but it just smells intoxicating you guys very smooth very sweet but you also have some other notes that are really balancing out that sweetness so that it doesn't become sickly and cloying on your skin it just smells 10 out of 10 absolutely incredible so i really do recommend checking this one out if you like fragrances like Herod, if you like fragrances like Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford, check out Vanille Havan from Les Indimidab because this fragrance is on another level. Like, really guys, this fragrance is on a different planet. So I love it. I really recommend it to you guys. And it is an absolute beast mode scent on the skin. You're going to get around eight hours of fantastic wear with a really nice projection. So definitely recommend checking this one out. Vanille Havan from Les Indimidables. Next up, you guys, we have a fragrance from Yves Saint Laurent and no, it is not Tuxedo, even though, again, this is another one that you guys know how much I love Tuxedo, but in terms of addictive fragrances, Baby Cat from Yves Saint Laurent is definitely a little more addictive. And you guys should be quick with this one because I have heard from some people that it might be discontinued. So I would recommend if you like the look of the notes and you like the way that I describe it, you should definitely check the fragrance out because it is absolutely fantastic. Now, Baby Cat, if you have not smelled it yet, if you have not heard about it, is an incredible vanilla and incense fragrance. So this is a beautiful, high quality vanilla scent with a beautiful frankincense note going throughout the fragrance. So it's very smoky and resinous and slightly balsamic 
but it has that beautiful high quality vanilla in there. Baby Cat is this beautiful balance between high quality vanilla and high quality frankincense. Like you just feel the quality of the scent and those notes are just perfectly in harmony together. You have the vanilla, which smells absolutely incredible and super addictive, but you have this gorgeous kind of resinous, smoky vibe going throughout the scent. So I definitely recommend checking this one out, Baby Cat from Yves Saint Laurent. Also, the longevity projection is absolutely fantastic on Baby Cat. On my skin, I get around eight hours of really good wear with a big projection. Like this is one that's gonna project um, outside of your proximity, so it's definitely gonna travel a little bit and people will be able to smell you. And most likely compliment you. I recommend Baby Cat for the fall and winter, also a night out and also a formal event. I feel like it could smell fantastic in those situations. So definitely check it out. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance from Yves Saint Laurent and I hope that it doesn't get discontinued. Spice Bomb Extreme from Victor and Rolf. <gasps> you guys, I love, love, love this fragrance. Now, I am sure that a lot of you guys already own this and already love it, and maybe you're a little bit over it at this point. I cannot tell you guys how much I love this scent still to this day. I remember the first time that I smelled Spice Bomb, and it was when it first came out, like the original Spice Bomb. And I remember because I was in a cafe and this guy walked past me, and I was like, what on earth? earth is that incredible scent and he kept on kind of walking past me walking past me and at some point which I never do this like it's very weird for a girl to go up to a guy and ask him what his fragrance is but I couldn't help myself I said can I ask you what fragrance are you wearing and he was like I'm wearing Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb and I was like wow like it smells fantastic like good job because it really blew my mind and actually you guys Quick story, I was just came back from Europe a few weeks ago and we went to the south of France. There is a city in the south of France called Marseille and we went to a restaurant there outside and I was sitting there and I was like, what is that smell? Like, what is smelling so good? And then I realized somebody around me was wearing Spice Bomb. I could smell it. It was absolutely the Spice Bomb DNA because I know how it smells. And just everywhere in this restaurant, it was smelling like Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb, you guys, is truly one of the most addictive designer fragrances ever created and ever will be created because it's just a 10 out of 10. Longevity and projection is top notch on the fragrance. It is a beast mode scent that's gonna last eight to 10 hours with a huge projection. The scent DNA has something extremely addictive about it. Spice Bomb Extreme is a beautiful, very smooth and creamy spicy scent with a very subtle sweetness going on. There is definitely a sweetness in there, but equally as much of a spiciness and also this kind of creamy woody vibe going on. 10 out of 10, I cannot recommend it to you guys enough. If you don't own it, you need to own it. And if you own it, wear it this fall and winter, guys. I'm telling you, as somebody that owns like over 1000 fragrances, still to this day, one of the most intoxicating scents that I smell on a guy is Spice Bomb. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but they just knocked it out of the park and it doesn't smell cheap. That's what I love about Victor and Rolf is that their fragrances, they don't smell cheap and synthetic. They smell very high quality. So really recommend it, Spice Bomb Extreme. Get it in your collection this fall and winter. So next up we have Zerzhov Tony Iommi. Now, you guys, you know I always recommend Herod, but this time I want to recommend Tony Iommi. I have spoken about it a lot on my channel, mostly because I actually love to wear the fragrance, which doesn't mean that I think it smells feminine. I actually think it's quite a masculine scent, but I just love the way that it smells so much. Tony Iommi is this incredible blend of kind of fruits. There is a very interesting passion fruit note in the top. There is some caramel to bring this addictive sweetness. There is a lot of patchouli in here, which brings this kind of earthy, slightly spicy woodiness. 
there is a leather note, there is a boozy note, there is so much going on in the scent, but somehow it works. Somehow they have kind of blended the fragrance together perfectly where it just works. Now, when you wear this fragrance, you are going to be the only one wearing this fragrance because I have never smelled anyone wearing Tony Iommi. This DNA in general is very, very unique. I have not smelled anything like this in my life, it is extremely unique and very, very, very sexy, you guys. So I really, really recommend checking this one out. I do feel, however, that it's not going to be for every single one of you gentlemen watching me. Some of you might not like it so much and some of you will think it is absolutely spectacular. So pick up a sample, check it out. Tony Iommi is super addictive, very strong, very demanding, very addictive. There is just something incredible about the scent. So I really recommend it. And also not to mention, it is a beast mode fragrance. On my skin, I get around eight plus hours with a really good projection. So check it out. It's not gonna be for all of you, but some of you are gonna fall in love with this fragrance. It's very, very addictive on the skin. Definitely a night out, like a night out with a black outfit, leather jacket. My God, are you gonna get attention that night? I obviously quickly had to mention my favorites. It is Jazz Club from Maison Margiela. Now I have tried all of the Margiela fragrances and unfortunately, there's not that many that I like. My favorite is absolutely, still to this day, Jazz Club. Jazz Club is an incredible, smooth, kind of creamy, woody scent with a booziness, a tobacco note. It is just fantastic. Like, whenever I smell this on somebody, I immediately turn my head in that direction because it just has something very addictive and intoxicating about it. Now, for some people, the longevity projection is not good on jazz clubs, so keep that in mind. On others, it lasts a long time. For me, personally, it lasts around seven hours, I would say, with a nice projection, like people can definitely smell you, and other people get much poorer longevity. So make sure that you test it on your skin to see how it's gonna perform. But in terms of a scent, this is one that I want to smell on date night. This is something because of that smoothness going on. It has a smooth kind of smokiness, creamy woodiness, uh, the sweetness there, the tobacco, the booziness. It's just spectacular. So it's definitely a scent that I want to smell on a date night. Like it's, it's, it's jazz club. Next up, we have an Inicio fragrance. Now I have never recommended this to men, not for any other reason than I just, didn't really think about it, but it is Absolute Aphrodisiac from Inicio. Now, Absolute Aphrodisiac, if you have never smelled it, is an incredible vanilla fragrance, but vanilla in a very sexual way. Absolute Aphrodisiac, this is a very smooth, creamy, uh, woody vanilla fragrance. It is just spectacular. You have vanilla, musk, amber, a little bit of an animalic touch in there. What I get is a smooth, almost a little bit chocolatey vanilla scent with a gorgeous kind of creamy woody base. It is spectacular, you guys. This is one that I would say date night, date night, date night. Like absolutely a date night in the fall and winter. You should check out Absolute Aphrodisiac. Another one that I love from Inicio is Bless Baraka. That one on a man is a fantastic fragrance. But if we're talking about addictive scents, Absolute Aphrodisiac takes the cake for me from Inicio. This is super addictive. And if you're a guy who doesn't want to smell like straight up vanilla, don't worry. The two vanillas that I recommended to you guys do not smell feminine. Baby Cat has a lot of incense, a woodiness. It's very, very interesting. And Absolute Aphrodisiac is a very smooth, not overly sweet vanilla with this very kind of sexual kind of character about it. It's just fantastic. Really recommend it to you guys. Longevity projection is good. It's not fantastic. I personally get around six, seven hours of really good wear with a decent projection. It's not a beast mode fragrance by any means. And I do want to say a fantastic combination for men. Spice Bomb. Layer Absolute Aphrodisiac first. Go on top with Spice Bomb. Mic drop. I have to shout out my own fragrance. This is Minuit de Me from Fragrance Subois and myself. Um, guys, I would not recommend this fragrance to you 
if it wasn't something that I wanted to smell on a man. When I created this scent, I wanted it to be unisex. I have both men and women that followed me, so I didn't want to create something feminine or masculine. Minui Demi is 100% unisex and it is just incredible. The scenario that I had in mind when I created it was a date night. Like I wanted a date night scent that is sexy, that is intimate, that is cozy, that is smooth that is addictive and intoxicating. That was all the words that I put on my brief actually when I created the scent. So Minui Demi, if you have never smelled it, is a beautiful, soft, spicy, creamy, kind of slightly gourmand fragrance, but not too sweet. You have some cardamom, pimento, coffee, caramel, vanilla, some woods, a bit of tobacco, a bit of a booziness in the base. It is just fantastic, you guys. It never feels too sweet, and it's perfectly balanced throughout the entire wear of the scent between the spice, the kind of gourmand coffee creaminess in the mid, and the base. It never feels overpowered by one note. It's very well balanced, very well blended, gonna leave a beautiful scent trail behind you, and the longevity and projection is also very good. I get around eight hours of really good wear with Minui Demi, and a big projection. This one is going to project because of all of the woody molecules that we used inside of it. So definitely recommend it. And another recommendation of a layering combo is Jazz Club with Minui Demi. Put on Minui Demi first, go over the top with Jazz Club, match made in heaven. Next up we have Parfum de Mali Haltan. Now, like I said, I did not want to recommend the same old things, uh, Herod, Ojan, etc. I wanted to recommend Haltan because you guys I feel like this is definitely more of a slept on Parfum de Mali fragrance and I also slept on this scent. When it first came out, I kind of put my nose away from it. I was like, it's okay, like it's a good scent, but it's nothing crazy. But you guys, when I started to smell it on a man, my mind was blown. Haltan is really the type of scent that you have to wear to fully appreciate because it just becomes better and better and better on the skin. What you're going to get with Haltan is a very sweet, slightly aromatic, very dry woody scent, but you really feel this intense sweetness throughout the entire wear. It's very, very woody as well. It has a very dry woody essence to it. And my gosh, is it potent. Like this stuff is nuclear. On, on the skin, it's going to last around eight hours plus with a really, really big projection. Now, I want to tell you guys something. I recently resampled Dior Sauvage Elixir because when it first came out, I turned away from it because I am not the biggest fan of the original Dior Sauvage. So I assumed that the Elixir was just going to be the same. Actually, I was so wrong. I just smelled it like a few weeks ago at the airport. And it's all I can think about, you guys. Dior Sauvage Elixir is the only scent that I'm thinking about for weeks. It is spectacular. And the reason that I'm bringing it up is because it kind of reminded me of Haltan from Parfum de Mali. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced the same thing, but for me, Dior Sauvage Elixir is a little bit similar to Haltan. Dior Sauvage Elixir has a little bit more of a fougere aspect and a little bit more of a vintagey sort of touch, but in the best way possible. Whereas Haltan is more sweet, more dry woody, and it has that Parfum de Mali DNA. So anyways, I really recommend Haltan. It smells freaking incredible on the skin. And this one is definitely for a night out, formal event, fall and winter day to day. You can definitely wear this one day to day in the cold weather. It just smells 10 out of 10. You guys like 10 out of 10. And also if I had a bottle of Dior Sauvage Elixir, it would be in the list as well. And finally we have Ensemble Suave from Mathieu Premier. Guys, this fragrance is the epitome of addictive. It's just incredible. What you're gonna get with Ensemble Suave is a fantastic vanilla coffee incense fragrance. It feels almost like it's burning. Like there is something hot in this fragrance. Like I mean, it smells like it's on fire almost. It is just insane how this fragrance smells. It's very sweet. It's also quite smoky and resinous. You have the coffee note. It's just spectacular, you guys. But I do want to say this one is very, very sweet. 
So you definitely have to like your sweeter scents. You definitely have to appreciate your sweeter fragrances to like this one. But if you like the sound of that, like a fragrance that is vanilla, it's smoky, it has a coffee note, it has a resinous touch, you must check out Ensemble Suave because it is a 10 out of 10. And not to mention, this is another fragrance in the list that is absolutely beast mode. This one is gonna last around eight plus hours with a huge projection. It's gonna leave a big trail behind you. So definitely recommend it. Ensemble Suave from Matière Premier. This one is for a night out. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one for a date because I feel like it is too strong actually. I would recommend this one for a night out, for a formal event. Um, and yeah, Ensemble Suave Matière Premier, fantastic fragrance. That is it you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed the list of super addictive fragrances for men. Don't forget to check out and download Sniff, which is my mobile application dedicated to perfumery. If you guys wanted to review any of the fragrances or to read the notes of any of these fragrances, you can also create your collection and wish list virtually on the app, which is super cool, and also create a profile find girls to chat with that are also interested in fragrance and that is it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye